Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 61st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on uh, querying a database in MySQL using PHP. So in the last tutorial we checked out a function called MySQLi underscore fetch underscore row and uh, you know we got this as the output when we executed the script. So we saw that the result set that we got was obtained in the form of an array. And it makes sense to use another function called mysqli underscore fetch underscore asoc. And this function, you know, returns to us data in the form of an associative array. So the first step is the same. You know, you have to first connect to the database. And the next thing that you have to do is you have to write your SQL code and then you have to uh, execute it using the mysqli underscore query function. And this function again takes in two arguments. First one is the connection variable which we created here on line number six and uh, the next uh, argument has to be the SQL that you want to uh, you know process. So that is also going to be the same for this tutorial. Select star from student underscore info. We're not going to do anything fancy. And uh, then, you know, you have to check whether the query was executed properly or not. We do that using the if statement. And finally, we get to the while statement, you know, on line number 24, I have uh, uh, a while statement here. And uh, we're going to do something similar. It's just that we're going to use a different function. Instead of using mysqli underscore fetch underscore row, we're going to use mysqli underscore fetch underscore asoc. And this is going to return to us data in the form of an associative array. So the variable row in each uh, while loop iteration is going to get one row from the result set in the form of an associative array, right? And uh, then, you know, this associative array uh, we can use to display the keys as well as the values and we can, you know, actually control the formatting in a certain way. So uh, the best loop to use with associative arrays is for each. So that is why inside the while block I have a for each loop on line number 26 and uh, you know this is the associative array that we're going to work with so in each while loop iteration it's going to have one row from the result set and uh, you know we're going to uh, use key and val as the placeholders for the keys in the associative array and the values in the associative array so we're going to first display the key which is going to be the name of the field from the result set and next we're going to display the value that the field holds and of course I have the echo statement, you know, uh, for the break tags as well as the horizontal rule and rest of the script is also the same. So we're going to free the memory here and uh, we're also going to close the connection uh, eventually. So let me show you guys the output of uh, this script and you'll be able to appreciate how different it is from uh, the output that we got for the script query.php. So the name of the file, as I said, is uh, fetch underscore asoc dot php. And uh, there we go. You know, we see that immediately it looks much cleaner and it's so much more uh, meaningful. You know, we know that one is the ID now and John is the name and uh, mail is the gender of John. And then this is John's email address. This is John's DOB. And this is uh, the ID of the course for which John is enrolled. And we can see, you know, uh, information in a similar format for Alex. So, you know, this is the advantage of using the uh, mysqli underscore fetch underscore asoc uh, function. And, uh, you know, this is actually getting more popular now. People use this more than uh, mysqli underscore fetch underscore row. And for obvious reasons, it gives you more control over the formatting. You can choose to not display the uh, field names at all. If you just want to display the values and if you want to display some custom text, you know, you could do that too. So it just makes it you know, a lot more simple for you to work with it. So anyway, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll continue our discussion on uh, PHP and MySQL. And we're going to check out more cool things and uh, see you soon. Till then, take care.